All right, guys, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here and the problems that I'm running into with this new Samsung, uh, supposed to be top of the line TV, but not really. Um, let me show you what the model is. Probably post it on the title, but I probably can't see that. But it is uh, UN65KS850DFXZA, whatever that means. Can't, it won't let me turn on. Yeah. But either way, that's what it is. It's one of those new curb. It's a Series 8. I think there's already a Series 9 out in the market. Series 8, Ultra, Super Ultra, High Definition, Quantum Dot, yada, yada, yada. Pretty cool. Looks great. It works good, except for this little issue that I'm having. I'm hoping that somebody's familiar with it and can give me a little bit of input because the people from customer or tech support from Samsung are absolutely useless. And I mean, and, and I mean that because I've never ever dealt with anybody so incompetent, like four people that I talked to. Uh, you can just hear them type away in the background. It's almost like they have some sort of algorithm do, that, you know, they just input your feedback and it throws out suggestions and that's what they do for you. No, no real knowledge. Uh, nobody really knew what the heck I was talking about. So anyway, long story short, I have my, uh, I'm big into sound. So I have a couple of these guys over here, uh, 2016 demo disc. I have 2016, 2013, there's a whole bunch of them. And uh, with my previous TV setup I had was just Blu-ray straight into my, my uh, AV receiver and it was working phenomenally. Let me show you what that sounds like. So if I found the remote, God dang it. Oh, well, I had a remote at some point. Jesus, oh, there we go. Okay. So, that's what this sounds like. Or shoot, i back this out to the beginning of the track. I'm gonna pause it. There you go, sound on mound. Sounds fantastic, by the way. Um, so, I'm gonna leave this as it is, and I'm gonna turn off the TV because there's something really interesting going on here. Okay, so TV's off. I'm gonna turn this guy off. Hopefully it won't turn off my Blu-ray. It didn't, that's fantastic. It's an older Blu-ray, I've had it for a few years. And we're back on with the receiver. So I wanted to detect the signal. I have the output out of my Blu-ray is set to uh, pass through or whatever that is called. So it's not processing anything. Everything is being decoded by my AV receiver, which is what you want, or what I want in this case anyway. So I'm gonna press play. And there you go. Master sound 7.1. That's, front. I'm gonna turn it down. Right front. This is what I want. This is the optimal sound for the track that I'm playing. That's, that's a specifically what I want. But look what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it again. It's gonna go to the menu. I'll know that because it'll show the 2.0 of the menu. There you go. So there's, yeah, 2.0. So we're in the menu. I can't see it, of course, because the TV is off. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna play it again. There we go. But now I'm gonna turn on the TV. There you go, and look what's happening. Center, left side surround, right side surround, left rear, right rear. So just in case you didn't catch that, the TV somehow is sending a signal to my AV receiver and is modifying the audio. I don't know, I don't understand it, because first off, you know, these new TVs have a hub or a one connect piece of crap thing over here. I thought it was a great idea at first. But either way, so I had my um, AV receiver to which I plug in my Xbox and my Blu-ray and everything, and then into the TV. But the problem with these TVs is that they're too smart for their own good, because what they're doing is they're they're detecting that it's a, a video receiver 
an audio and video receiver. So what they try to do is use it as a speaker system only. And so you don't have any video. Either way, what I had to do is, and I hope I'm not confusing you too much, I had to connect my Blu-ray and Xbox into the, the one connect over here. And then um, the receiver into this um, arc input. You probably can't see that. It's an arc input. So basically, I was running all my signal from my Xbox and my Blu-ray through the TV and then back out through an HDMI into the receiver. But even though I had the TV set to air, I had it set to uh, bit, what is it called? So I'm gonna change this, oh well, hell, I've changed all the settings since then, but this was previously, um, it's of course it said receiver, I'm trying to mess with it right now, but I had it to bit stream, so technically, it should have taken my signal out of the Blu-ray player and just, you know, pass it right through the TV without modifying it and into the Blu-ray, I mean, sorry, into the AV receiver, but it's not doing that. It's somehow modifying it and downgrading the, the signal to a 5.1. That was the best I could get. So I unplugged it and now I'm running the Blu-ray player straight, straight into the AV receiver and it works fantastic until the TV comes on. And I already have the setting for HDMI control turned off on the receiver. And I turn off the whatever the heck thing is in here that supposedly allows the TV to talk to um, to other stuff. So Okay, so I turn off this AnyNet Plus. So there shouldn't be any communication between the TV and the receiver. But there is, as you saw, the second that I turn on the TV, it jacks up my signal, even though it's coming straight from the Blu-ray into the receiver. So I'm losing my shit and I'm gonna freaking blast this with my shotgun if I don't find a way to fix it. This is so frustrating. And I hope the problem was clear. I hope somebody can help me. And yeah, so don't buy a Samsung TV, I would say. Uh, it's really a pain in the butt. If you're trying to do something a little bit more advanced than just your, you know, good old 5.1, this is really frustrating. I hate it. So if I can't fix this, I'm gonna drag this TV by its cord back to Costco, which is where I bought it. Those guys are great, so nothing against Costco. Thank you guys.